disturbing and outright racist. That's how a woman describes the encounter she had here in East Vancouver. It comes as the city deals with a troubling rise in anti-Asian hate crimes during the COVID-19 pandemic. Trixie Ling was out for a walk along Great Northern Way on the afternoon of May 9th when she says a Caucasian man walking towards her began shouting. Sexual and racist comments. She ignored the slurs, but as he walked past... He just spat on my face, which was very shocking. Ling says a nearby cyclist saw the whole thing happen, but did not intervene. He appeared to be of Asian descent. You wish someone would, if they witnessed something, they would speak up. At the same time, I totally feel for him that he was scared and he did not want not want to confront this younger white man um, because we don't know what would have happened. Ling filed a police report that evening. The 36-year-old is now going public in hopes that witnesses to racism will get involved. We all have a part to play. Since COVID-19 was declared a pandemic in March, Vancouver police have seen a spike in anti-Asian hate crimes, including this assault on a 92-year-old man with dementia and multiple reports of racist graffiti in Chinatown. It's just no longer acceptable, and I'm uh, grateful to see citizens standing up to racism when they see it. We need to do that with increasing regularity. Because silence is saying that, oh, this is okay. Daniel Louis recently hosted a town hall on racism in Vancouver during the pandemic. He believes witnesses to hate crimes have a social responsibility to comfort the victims. My first uh, suggestion always is to try to get away from the situation with the victim and leave, you know, leave the situation and get to a safe place and then call 911. If you're a bystander, you see something, you walk away is really discrediting, I think, some of the experience people have and to say, this is real. I see you. I'm with you. No arrests have been made in Trixie Ling's case. Ironically, she says while the alleged assault took place, she was listening to a podcast about the rise in anti-Asian hate crimes across North America. In Vancouver, Travis Prasad, City News.